Hi, welcome to my channel Mathematics Made Easy by Mary MJ. Today I am discussing Class 11, Chapter 7, Permutations and Combinations. We are continuing the chapter. Last video we discussed exercise 7.3 up to 6th, 6th question. So we will move on to the 7th one. That is to find R. Find R if first question is 5 p r is equal to 2 into 6 p r minus 1 and second question there is 5 p r is equal to 6 p r minus 1. So, two questions are there both are in the same way. So, we will move on to the first sub question 5 p r is equal to 2 into 6 p r minus 1 and what is 5 p r? 5 p r is 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 2 into 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r minus 1 factorial. Then simplifying 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 2 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by how can you simplify this 6 minus r plus 1 so that is 7 minus r factorial and here in the numerator 5 factorial is common that can be cancelled so we can write this as 1 by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 12 by 7 minus r into 6 minus r into 5 minus r factorial and that 5 minus r factorial can be cancelled from both the sides and cross multiplying we are getting 7 minus r into 6 minus r is equal to 12 opening the bracket 42 minus 7 r minus 6 r plus r square is equal to 12 or that is the same as r square minus 13 r min, uh, plus 42 minus 12 is plus 30 is equal to 0 and we can factorize this that is minus 30 is the same as minus 10 into minus, uh, minus 3. So, this can be splitted as r minus 10 into r minus 3 equal to 0 or r is equal to 3 comma 10. But which is possible here we can see that it is 5 p r. So, this r should be less than 5 from 5 objects we can't take more than that. So, we can uh, here 10 and 3 are the values given. So, only possibility is there for 3 because uh, uh, this uh, 10 is greater than 5 which is not possible. So, r is equal to 3. Uh, r is equal to 10 is not possible because r should be sh r value of r cannot be greater than n that is the reason. Then next one there the second sub question is 5 p r is equal to 6 p 6 p r minus 1. So, 5 p r means 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r minus 1 factorial. That is 5 factorial by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 6 factorial divided by 7 minus r factorial. It is the same way as the last one here 5 factorial here remaining 6 because 6 into 5 factorial is 6 factorial. Same way the denominator 1 by 5 minus r factorial can be written as 6 by 7 minus r into 6 minus r into 5 minus r factorial. 5 minus r factorial can be cancelled and cross multiplying we are getting 7 minus r into 6 minus r is equal to 6 and that is equal to 7 into 6 42 then minus 7 r minus 6 r minus 13 r plus r square is equal to 6 
or the factors uh, simplifying that we are getting the equation as r square minus 13 r plus 36 equal to 0 and uh, 36 the factors of 36 are minus 9 and minus 4 adding we are getting minus 13 so this can be written as r minus 9 into r minus 4 is equal to 0 or r is equal to 4 comma 9 where again r equal to 9 is not possible r equal to 9 is not possible because it is greater than because 9 is greater than 5 therefore r is equal to 4 that's only possible now next question it's question number 8 how many words how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters using all the letters of the word equation using each letter exactly once using each letter exactly once how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters of the word equation each letter uh, using each letter exactly once so here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 letters are there and we have to use all the letters and correct no repetition is allowed so total number of words total number of letters total number of letters is equal to 8 so number of arrangement number of permutations is equal to 8 objects taken 8 at a time that is 8 p 8 which is equal to 8 factorial divided by 0 factorial which is equal to 8 factorial 0 factorial means it is equal to 1 so 8 factorial and 8 factorial is 40,320 now question number 9 9th one how many words with or without meaning how many words with or without meaning can be formed can be formed using all the letters using all the letters of the word Monday of the word Monday assuming assuming that no letter is repeated no letter is repeated if first question four letters are used at a time then second one all letters are used at a time are used at a time third one all letters are used by uh, but the first letter is a vowel all letters are used but the first letter is a vowel so the question is how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters of the word monday assuming that no letter is repeated so if four letters are used at a time so first thing we need to find the total arrangement using all the letters of the word monday so uh, 
total arrangement or total arrangement is equal to 6 uh, p6 because monday means six letters taken six objects taken six at a time 6 p6 is 6 factorial by 0 factorial which is equal to 6 factorial and that is 720 different ways we can arrange that monday without any repetition now the second the first question four letters are used at a time so six objects are given and four letters are used so number of permutations is equal to number of permutations is equal to 6 objects taken 4 at a time that is 6 p4 which is equal to 6 factorial by 6 minus 4 factorial and that is equal to 6 factorial by 2 factorial and that is uh, 6 factorial by 2 factorial is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 which is equal to 360 different ways of arrangement then third sub question four letters first one is uh, f sorry second sub question all letters are used at a time so all letters are used means that we have already uh, did already here this is a second sub question total arrangement means 6 p6 all letters are used so 6 p6 different ways then what about the third one all letters are used but the first letter is a vowel so how many letters are here how many vowels are here two vowels are here in monday m o n d a y we are having two vowels here so the first letter should be a vowel and remaining one two three four five six out of the six first one should be a vowel and we can select from these two any one can be selected to the first position in two p one different ways that is two objects and one place that's why two p one and remaining after keeping one for the first position remaining there will be five and how many positions are there five positions are there therefore number of arrangements uh, therefore number of words formed therefore number of words formed is equal to 5 p5 into 2 p1 that's equal to 5 factorial into 2 and that is equal to 240 different words we can make now next one question number 10 in how many ways in how many ways of distinct permutations how many of the distinct in how many of the distinct permutations of the distinct permutations of the letters in Mississippi Mississippi do the four eyes not come together not come together So question is in how many of the distinct permutations of the letters uh, uh, in Mississippi do the four eyes do not come together. So we need to find out the cases but first we have to find out what is the total arrangement. Total number of ways, total number of arrangement is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 factorial divided by, since the objects itself is repeating, we can use n factorial by p1 factorial, p2 factorial, etc. So, 11 factorial by m is not repeating, only once it is there. i repeats 4 times, so 4 factorial. s repeats 4 times and two, p repeats 2 times. So, the total... Uh, after simplifying this, we will get it as 34,650. Then, the case where uh, 4 i's, we have to find out 
where four eyes do not come together for that we have to arrange this four eyes together when they occur together when four eyes come together what happens when four eyes come together i am writing this four right together then remaining letters will be m s s s s p p so how many arrangements are possible if four eyes are together so uh, here total arrangement will be here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and take this as a single one so 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 2 factorial but since here all are eyes there will not be any different arrangement among these eyes only one single arrangement if this eye come this side or this side no no difficulty no so uh, this is equal to 840 the four number of arrangements when eyes does not come together the four number of arrangements when eyes not come together is equal to have to subtract both from the total arrangement that is 34650 minus 840 which is equal to 33810 different ways of arrange um, arrangements that is in those this many cases four eyes will not be together now the last question of that exercise that is question number 11 in how many ways in how many ways can the letters of the word permutations be arranged if first question word starts with words start with p and end with s second sub question vowels are together vowels are together third sub question there are always there are always four letters between p and s so first question is how many ways can the letters of the word permutations be arranged if words start with p and end with s so the first thing is that we have to keep that first and last term as constant so first term, first letter is p and last letter is s total how many letters are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so total 12 letters are there out of that first and last p and s remaining 10 letters so they can be arranged so number of ways number of ways letters of permutations permutations be arranged so that words start with p and end with s is equal to 10 factorial because p and s coming in the first and last remaining 10 letters are there 10 factorial divided by each one repeats how many times e one time r one time m one time u also one time only two uh, t repeats two times so divided by 2 factorial and that is equal to 1 lakh 81000 18 18 lakh uh, 14400
is the number of ways of arrangement. Now in the second question it is asked vowels are all together. So in this how many vowels are there? E that is E, U, A, I, O. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vowels are there. So if vowels are together, 5 vowels are there. 5 vowels are there and the number of arrangement vowels it is told that vowels are all together that means the vowels are e u a i o remaining p r m t t n and s so if it is like this how many different arrangements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and you have to take this as a single one so 8 so number of arrangement number of ways vowels are together vowels are together is equal to 8 factorial divided by t repeats two times now this into among this vowels itself there will be an arrangement how many different arrangements are possible among vowels among vowels five objects are there and five places are there so it can be arranged in 5 p 5 ways therefore that is equal to 8 factorial by 8 factorial by 2 factorial into 5 factorial by 0 factorial that is 1 now simplifying this 8 factorial means it is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial that 2 factorial getting cancelled into 5 factorial you will get the answer as 2 4 1 9 2 0 0 now the third sub question there in the third sub question in how many ways in how many ways uh, the permutations can be arranged if there are always four letters between p and s so there are always four letters between p and s so for that i'm just drawing this One, two, three, four, five, six, so always four letters are there between P and S. So first if it is P, then after four spaces, one, two, three, four, here it will be S then so if p is here s will be here if p is here s will be this side then if p is here s will be here then if p is here s will be here p is here s will be here so 1 2 3 4 5 then if p is here s will be S will be here and if P is here S will be here so if P if you are starting with P then four gaps will be there for S and if P is here so how many places are there for P how many places are there for S so there will be seven places for P and S same way it can be in the other way also if S starts with P if we are starting with S then same way four gaps in between then it will be P here then if s here here it will be p s p here s means here it will be p here s means it will be p or here s here p here s here it will be p so for this seven arrangements for uh, s and p also seven arrangement so this alone we are having 7 plus 7 14 arrangement for p and s remaining 10 uh, out of uh, how many total 12 letters are there out of out of that remaining 10 letters can be arranged in 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial.
So only P and S are having 14 arrangement. Remaining we are having 10 factorial by 2 factorial because there itself it is repeating. Repetition is coming in the given objects itself. T repeats 2 times. So 10 factorial by 2 factorial. So uh, the remaining 10 places can be filled in 10 factorial by 2 factorial. Therefore number of ways in which four letters between P and S P and S is equal to one eight one four four zero zero into fourteen. You can multiply that and write the answer and that is equal to two five four zero one double zero. So this many different ways of arrangement it is there for first term as P and last term as S or first as S and last as P. Okay. So thank you for watching my video. Those who haven't subscribed please like share and subscribe and also click on the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Bye.